The best thought leaders create cutting edge content, but how do they do this? We might presume that thought leaders with the cutting edge content are simply smarter than us, and that might be true, but it doesn't tell the whole story. Success leaves clues. In this video, I'll show you five master strategies for creating cutting edge thought leadership content so you can follow in their footsteps. Plus, I'll share five thought leadership examples based on 10 videos that you can watch to see how these thought leaders created their content in more detail. It's a masterclass in creating thought leadership quality content. And this is the fourth video in a four part series on how to develop high performance. And in particular, how to go from beginner to expert. And we've been looking at it through the lens of thought leadership and content creation. But you could apply the same steps to almost anything. In 1993, Carey Mullis won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. That's an elite thought leader. In his TED talk, Carey talks about how he got started on the road to science by making rockets in his backyard as a kid. His mission was to make frogs into astronauts. He found a small booklet to get started and then he just started making experiments to see what would happen. After about six months, he finally figured it out. He was able to send frogs into space, or at least high above the ground. And that's a great example of experimentation. You do things, you observe what happens, you take a few notes, and you come up with a theory about what works. It's the classic way to do science. And this is the first example of how you can create thought leadership quality, cutting edge content. Go and do some experiments, observe what works, and come up with a theory that explains it all. One way you can do this is in your everyday work personally and with your clients. Now, I'm not suggesting you take big risks with your clients and blow up their business. So if you know a general principle works, then play with some of the variations to see if you can make it work even better. Legend has it that Michael Dell, founder of Dell Computers, was given an Apple II computer for his 16th birthday. And to his parents' horror, the first thing he did with it was pull it to pieces. This is an example of our second way to create cutting edge thought leadership content, reverse engineering. The process begins with a finished example that someone else has created. And then you pull it apart to see how it works. This is easy to imagine for a mechanical thing like a computer, but it also works for a conceptual thing like an idea or a process. Once you have pulled it apart and worked out how it works, then you can put it back together in new ways to improve the results you might get. The goal here is to look for the underlying or hidden structure that makes the thing work. Amy Webb in her TED talk tells the hilarious story of how she wanted to find a husband. It all started with the question, how do I find Mr. Right? She did some basic sums and realized that online dating was her best chance. But her early attempt to find a mate online didn't turn out that well. So she decided to reverse engineer the process. She started analyzing the online dating apps. And then she started to create her own process, creating her own data points. She came up with 72. And then finally, she came up with a scoring system so she could decide who were the winning candidates. Sorry, but you're going to have to watch the video to find out whether she found her man or not. To create cutting edge thought leadership content, find an exemplary example that you can reverse engineer. Then pull it apart and then put it back together in such a way that it works even better. The third way to create cutting edge thought leadership content is to create a thought experiment. And your immediate reaction to this might be to think that you need to take LSD or some other form of drug to get into the right state. But the reality is you already do this every day. And I'll bet you're doing it right now. You're sitting there watching this video, deciding whether, oh, should I keep watching this video? Is there a hidden gem that's about to come that's going to change my life? Or would I rather go and do something else? And to answer that question, you have to create possible scenarios, which is what a thought experiment is. 
In thought leadership, a thought experiment is when you ask what if around a particular situation. And then you create scenarios about possible ways it could unfold. Sci-fi writers like Charlie, Jane, Anders are a great example. They take a current piece or a future piece of technology and then they imagine possible scenarios of how that technology may be used in the future and what impact it would have. Charlie Jane's TED Talk shares the example of her writing about the example of when governments use drones to kill people. When she first started out, it was just a, an idea. But by the time she'd finished, it was already true. The governments were killing people with drones. She also talks about a thought experiment about the future of the city. And there are two parts here. What does the future look like? And how might that change the way we live? And her process bounces back and forth between research and imagination. Research and imagination. You can use a thought experiment to create your future. And the key question you might want to ask is, what is the future of your industry? What is your favorite TV crime show? If you're a fan of crime shows or murder mysteries, then you'll be very familiar with the fourth way to create cutting edge thought leadership content. The typical crime show follows a particular pattern. It starts out with something going wrong. Someone is killed, something is stolen, something is broken. Then the detectives turn up and they start gathering evidence to find out who committed the crime and how did they do it. This is the role of the collector. And this is how I created these five master strategies. I collected a whole bunch of examples that pointed to how this could be done. And when I had enough examples, I was able to start to plot a pattern. These seem to be the five best ways that it happens most often. Kenneth Lacavera opens his TED Talks with the fabulous question, how do you find a dinosaur? He then runs us through the formula that paleontologists use. And that formula is all about finding the right rocks of the right age that may have dinosaur bones or fossils within them. And then you go to that place on planet Earth that has those rocks and you walk around for a while. And hopefully the erosion has exposed some fossil bones. And if you see that, then you start digging. Kenneth used this formula to find a sauropod. That's a new species of dinosaurs that's as big as a two-story house and as heavy as a jumbo jet. To unearth a dinosaur that big, you have to do what all collectors do. You find a lot of little pieces until you form them into one big piece. It's a bit like making a jigsaw puzzle. To be a thought leader collector, start gathering your evidence and put the pieces together until a pattern is formed and you can solve your mystery. The fifth way to create cutting edge thought leadership content is through design. And here's another hilarious TED Talk video, this time from Thomas Thwaites. Thomas starts with the question, how can I build a toaster from scratch? And what's really funny about this, his first step is to go down to the local store and pay five pounds for an electric toaster. Then he reverse engineered it. He pulled it apart to see what components he'd actually have to build. As a former architect, I'm well trained in design myself. And for me, there's a simple kind of two parts to the process. That's not to say the process is simple, but here's the two parts. You first have to gather all your components. In Thomas's example, he wanted to make all those components from scratch, which is a pretty crazy thing to do. But I do admire his approach. And this included going to a, an actual mine to recover some actual iron ore that he could turn into some steel. Then once he had all his components, he had to compile them or combine them or put them together into a viable solution. That's the second step of design. While I wouldn't be cooking my bread in Thomas's toaster anytime soon, design is a great way to come up with cutting edge thought leadership content. And there you have it, five master strategies to create cutting edge thought leadership content. And one more thing, if you've watched the TED Talks along the way, you might have noticed something about the relationship between each of these five strategies. In Amy Webb's example, 
she uses at least four of them. Her major approach is reverse engineering, but she also does a series of experiments going on dates to collect data that she was able to then put together into a design, a solution that actually gave her scoring and ranking the candidates. This suggests that they're not separate strategies, but they're more likely to overlap and you're more likely to use one, two or more of them to come up with your cutting edge thought leadership content. Add a comment down below, which of these strategies do you already use in your work? And stick around for our next video where we'll talk about how to create a personal vision statement so you can be inspired every single day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.